Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review edition for Friday, March 31st. SMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Dom. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you this week. Maryland lawmakers are pushing the General Communications Commissions to improve the broadband mapping data for the state, guaranteeing all Americans access to affordable, reliable, high-speed internet is a shared goal, the lawmakers stated in a letter sent to the FCC. The funding from the Broadband Equity Access and Deployment Program, which provides $42 billion, will go towards developing high-speed broadband. Three local nonprofits are hoping to provide an interest in both musical instruments and performing to elementary school students. Building Bridges, the, Lo the Joey A. Miller Foundation, and the Cosmic Symphony brought students from St. Mary's Elementary Schools to a small concert by the accordion player Brandy DePhillip on March 13th in Lexington Park. The Building Bridges Executive Director, Patrice Campbell, said, It's just the beginning of something that we are going to be doing long term. During the March 21st meeting in Leonardtown, the St. Mary's County Board of Education was back at the drawing board as they discussed the state's education reform plan. Assistant Superintendent of Fiscal Services and Human Resources, Jeff Marr, discussed the executive amount of absences on early dismissal days and proposed a plan for virtual learning on those days. The next early dismissal days are scheduled for April 21st and May 12th. Those will now be virtual learning days where students do not come to school. The rain on Saturday didn't keep away the driven crowd of proud residents who planned a visit to the St. Clements Island Museum for the annual Maryland Day celebration. In 1916, the Maryland General Assembly designated March 25th as Maryland Day, the assigned day to celebrate the state's past, present, and future. This day was chosen because it was on this day in 1634 that English colonists claimed the land for the King of England. St. Mary's County Commissioner, President Randy Guy said, My family came here in 1634, and it's been my home all my life. Over 50 guests came out to the museum in Colton's Point to honor the old line state and the beginning of its rich history. Now turning to sports. Panthers baseball upends Hurricane in an early season contest pitting two Southern Maryland Athletic Conference squads who's contending for smack region and state titles. The Patuxent High School baseball team maintained its perfect start to the current campaign by upending visiting Huntingtown 5-1 on Monday afternoon. Cavaliers host outdoor track meet when a trio of teams meet at Calvert High School for an outdoor track and field meet involving the host and a pair of visiting squads from St. Mary's County on Tuesday. Participants had to face one another while contending with an unseasonable cold temperatures and a modest breeze that provide a mild inconvenience. That's all we have for you on the Friday, March 31st edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. St. Mary's County Public Schools will be on spring break next week, so we're taking a break too. SOMD Wire will return with the Friday, April 14th, 2023 edition of S Southern Maryland News. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jalen. Signing, Signing off. off.